All right. What is up, people? Welcome back to AI Somnium Files. Uh, this is episode 20. Last time we left off, we cle uh, we completed uh, the sync with, um, with uh, what's his face? Eight, number 89. And uh, we fig we saw something really crazy, <laughs> which is which was Boss killing Sosajima on camera. So uh, for some reason, she felt <laughs> the need to record herself doing it, uh, and uploaded it to her computer. And we figured that shit out. And now, uh, and now we're all just confused <laughs> about what's actually going on. We don't know who did what or why, uh, or rather, yeah, we don't know why she did that. Uh, no clue. So. Uh, the only thing left to do, or it seems like the only thing left to do now, is uh, to go back to day three Sunday, sinking in the vein. And instead of messing with the TV, we're going to look at the blood on the door, I think was the other option. Uh, and that's going to potentially unlock uh, this path here. Uh, now, what's interesting to me, though, uh, is that neither this or this other one on the opposite end is unlocked yet. So it seems like everything as far as unlocking things is going down in this path because nothing else is branching off. Uh, everything else comes to an end, it seems like. Uh. <clears throat> so yeah, so we're really, really getting down to the nitty gritty, getting to the end of this shit. Uh, and maybe in really starting to sort of get some answers like sort of but not really <laughs> like i like there's definitely some things that we've learned uh but as far as why you know the the why is definitely missing a lot of the why is missing uh and some of the who some of the who and some of the why uh so but all right without further ado Let's get this shit started. Uh, we got to begin sync. Uh, let me read the case file real quick. Iris Sagan, location, mysterious room, uncover Iris's secret, uh, a mysterious room, videos, and a strange device. You might be able to find the truth. Right. Yeah, see, a lot of, there's a lot of things that just have not been explained uh, as far as like Iris knowing about um, the original killer subconsciously, I guess, unless she's just lying through her teeth, which is something that we can uh, definitely, you know, pin her with because she was lying before. Uh, so, you know, and I don't know what Oda is on about either. Um, so, yeah, just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff that's just not explained. But, all right, let's get into it. Uh, begin sync. And, yep. Let's get it. What is this place? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown. But there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Hmm. Somnium scan! Activate! Alright. Alright, we've pretty much seen all this. Okay. So what we need to do is not go towards the TV at all. We're going to look behind us and look at the blood, which is the doors, apparently. A double door. Uh, open it, I guess. Okay, not quite. It doesn't open. We have to tackle it. <clears throat> okay, let's try tackling it. A double. Not gonna waste my, uh, not gonna waste my time. Stop that! You're not helping. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't the play. What else do we have here? There's nothing else here. 
Look at the blood. Watch the murder. Oh, maybe we have to hit the TV. The TV is red. Does that just mean we did it before? That probably is what it means. Well, we know I can't do anything with the door, so I guess hit the TV. A CRT. Yeah. Let us hit it. Uh, I might as well use this one six. Dang, that's that's kind of hefty though. Do we need to use that right now? Actually, fuck it. Yeah, go ahead and use it. Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. Well, this is an old-fashioned object, so. <laughs> Well, that's disturbing. This video is cursed. Is now? Okay. A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. Bro, this is so creepy. It's not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact need, with. I don't need to be playing this shit at uh, 2 a.m. Or whatever time it is right now. There we go. Look at the blood. Hit the mouse. Gotcha. Hit the mouse. What is that about? Okay, blow it up. What do we got on the map here? We got a medicine shelf, a gun, and a mirror. Similar to what we had with uh, the other one. Blow it up. Well, if we're blowing things up, probably the gun, right? Uh, medicine shelf, gun, mirror. What's on the medicine shelf? Let's go look at the medicine shelf. Hold on. I see many objects in the room. Smell, investigate the TV, investigate the bottle. Uh, okay, well, we're definitely not using the double on that. Let's use it on something else. Because that's way too much fucking shit. Uh, let's pick the smallest thing to use this double. Alright, look, punch, talk. Okay, punch is only 25. That's the lowest I've seen so far. Uh, let's go to the gun. It appears that way. Uh, we can shoot it. S22. So that'll be 44 seconds. Um, okay, so that's another option. But what I'll probably end up doing is fucking with this door again. Because it's just, yeah, because it's only 10. So let's just try and open it. It's not going to get us anything. But we just don't want to use all those seconds, so. All right. It doesn't open. We don't have. Okay, cool. So, that being said, what do we want to do? Let me go to this medicine shelf. It has some interesting options. Smell, investigate the TV. I think investigate the TV because. With the other one, that's what we had to do. So, let's do that. It appears to be a frog, a child's painting. Let's hope it's not Another dangerous, one. or you might croak. Was that supposed to be funny? For no, real? I was just thinking about the meaning of the painting. Yeah, right. There does not appear to be a particular meaning. I agree. Oh damn. Okay, so. Five minutes left, Dante. A shelf. Something different with this. Um. Okay, let's hit the gun. Let's hit the gun. Cause I'm, while I'm thinking about blowing some shit up, I'm thinking about shooting the gun. Wait, what's in the mirror again? I forgot. A full Look, punch, talk. Yeah, not really. A Okay, remove, shoot. Okay. So if we remove it, what does that do for us? That's the question. Let's just shoot it. I do not see any bullets inside. Okay, well never mind. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Well, 
That As didn't I work. Thought, this will not work. I need a bullet. Okay. They're not giving me any t good time things either. Let's uh, investigate this bottle. 35. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bruh, what the fuck? What? Okay. That works. The explosions appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. Okay, I'm guessing we blew it up this now. This is a dangerous dream, but we must continue. There we go. What's next? We blew up a frog. Gotcha. So. Four minutes. Tear and stab it. All right, there's the TV. Tear and stab it. Let's go over to the TV. An analog TV. Hit, turn the dial, investigate. Hitting it could do it, but I don't know. What about this reference book? It appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures. We could rip the book. That could potentially be what they mean. Let's just rip it and see. That will be difficult with it being this thick. All right. There we go. There's a the tear. The butterfly effect. I suppose that is somewhat accurate. The more you do, the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. Okay. So. Now we need the stabbing part. We saw the other TV with the bird on it. Um. Wait, why does I have a check mark by it? Interesting. Oh, is it similar to, uh, oh, it's, I guess it's the same as, uh, the other side, sort of. Now, how are we gonna stab? What's at the operating table? An operating table. Sleep investigate. Nah, uh, it doesn't work. We got something right here, but I guess we can't use that. Let's go to the other TV. Let's see. A retro TV. Hit investigate. Turn the dial. Hmm. Not really giving me stabby. Not really giving me stabby. I don't see the point in messing with the gun, really. Um, the mirror is pretty much the same options. What's in the gas canister again? A common gas canister. Open the valve, kick, smell. Hmm. Now, if I open this, I wonder, it might do something different though. Cause we don't have the gun up there anymore. The gun's down here, so. Let's just, just see what it does. Yeah, let's open it. Uh, 25. That was close. If this oh, okay, the there's princess, the knife. I would have been stabbed. Why was it booby trapped? I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. Gotcha. That makes sense. I remember that happening too. Something came out. I didn't know it was a knife though. But okay. Clean. So now we just flew out of the locker. Scoop this up. Oh, push in. Seppuku. What does that mean? Loki, I don't know what seppuku means. I feel like pushing in. Oh, pushing in actually might be it. Maybe we just need to stab the wall. I thought maybe we need to pick it up and then go uh to the TV. But uh, let's just try this. Let's try pushing it in. See what it does. It cannot be pushed in any further. Okay, that wasn't the case. All right. Uh. The knife that flew out of the locker. 
Let's try throwing it. Like this? What? Okay. I that only works. Threw it lightly. <laughs> Did you yeet at that knife? <laughs> starting to see the picture i do not yet understand it me either but i i understand what we need to do sort of but well, i'm not seeing the connection to <laughs> real life toward the butterfly and stab the bird gotcha shoot and kill less than two there minutes, we go Dante. Hurry. so now we're gonna fuck with the gun obviously okay shoot and kill so we need a bullet and we, uh, to my knowledge, we don't have one yet. Uh, we could fuck around with this oil drum. An oil drum. Take the lid off. Look inside. Kick. Uh, let's take the lid off. Take the lid off. Oh. Well. No use. I cannot take it off. Maybe we don't have to open it. Okay, maybe you don't have to open it. Clean. Wait, what happened to it? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, what about we kick it then? How about we kick it? Use one five to kick. I don't think I can make it fall over. Is it just heavy or is it built into the floor? What could be inside? Unknown. An oil drum. Okay, I guess we gotta look inside. That makes sense. Alright, let's just do that. <laughs> Maybe killing me with these back and forth camera pants. Why is it all pixely, like blurred? Thought they were gonna jump scare me for a little bit. What does this mean? Bullets. There we go. Maybe you can use them in that gun. See, I thought that might be the case. Alright. So now we got bullets. And now we can go to the gun and shoot to kill. Now okay, and now the gun's pointing at the TV. Makes sense, makes sense. A revolver. There we go. Let's shoot. Can we use the bullets we found earlier? This could work. I'll try shooting it. How about say, did she miss? Um, what the hell is going on? That's so Sejima, right? But that outfit looks like Mizuki's outfit. Unless I'm tripping. Shot the cat. Sheesh. There's a lot happening. Y'all tell me if that looked like Mizuki outfit to y'all, because it looked like it to me. Day three, Sunday. What happened during that Somnium? We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection, it is not so strange. Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will, 
When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. What about the figure? Could have been Iris herself. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. Hmm. That means that Iris, she must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him, too. Did that happen in reality? Not necessarily. I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? The first part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? No. Oh. Anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. It can include things outside of your memory, like TV or movies. Mm -hmm. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. You can't use the word smooch. Why not? So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right, because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. Yeah. Makes sense. I, and I mean, he was wearing Mizuki's clothes, so I don't know. We were silent for a time. While I was deep in my thoughts, I heard Dante, Peter speak. Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I gave my short reply and headed to the sink room next door. Putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? You cops are more rough than I thought. Alright, I forgot this is right after our interview. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't I mean, you? Interrogation, rather. You forced me to sign it. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? Alright, let's get right to it. Do you... Oh, wait, look at her. Uh, Iris looks a bit hazy. Do you remember your dream earlier? Dream? What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does not experience Somnium as you do. Iris would not know about it. Do you know a politician named So Sejima? Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. Um, how are you feeling? I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? About the now message with Ota. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. She gonna spill the beans or what? I won't tell anyone about that thing. What is that thing? I don't know. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. Iba, Ota's phone is still broken, right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. With the same number? Yes. Call it. Connected. <laughs> hey, it's Kaname Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal procedure law number 198. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. This is going just like last time did, I think. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. So, what are you going to do? Hopefully he don't get fucking tricked this Shit. time. Like a head ass. Look over there, Nick ass. All right, let's uh, head to Matsushita Diner, Iris, I guess. Come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. That we are. Were you talking to Ota? Well, yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. 
<laughs> anyway, let's go. You can say it's telepathically. Hilarious. Matsushita Diner, Sunday, 9.46 p.m. Oh, it's late. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. Hmm. Nah, this dude ain't finna tell me nothing. I can feel it. I wonder what she gonna say. Is he asking them all the same things? Uh, let's talk to her first, cause he's the main person. So I kind of want to get some of these other ones. Have you ever? Wait, wait, let's look at her. Ours is standing next to me. Okay. Have you ever met Ota's mother? Don't you have things to ask Ota? Hurry up. Well, damn, bit. Okay. Uh, is this your first time here? Let me see. <laughs> Why does that matter? Do you want me to leave? Uh, about that thing in the now message. What does she say about it? Didn't I tell you? Ask Ota about it. Yeah, she ain't gonna give me nothing. All right, that makes sense though. All right, Ota. Uh, where is your mother? Wait, let's look at him. It's Ota. He looks pretty nervous. Where's your mother? She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? No. Uh, I guess you bought a new cell phone? Y yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. Did I keep you waiting? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. Oh my god. As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. Wouldn't happen anyway. Alright, about that thing in the now message. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Date, will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. Oh my god. If he gets knocked out again. The photo. Yes, the photo. Bruh. <laughs> this dude dumb, bruh. I swear to god. Oh, Iva's still up though. Okay, that's clean. That's clean. So it's different because he didn't get stunned. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> this is nigga Date dumb, bro. What the hell? Uh, head is pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2 50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. It's a long time. Ota got me, didn't he? He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Now, we don't have any news right oh, now. Bastard. Why did he do that? Might come in a little bit, though. No, but afterward, he ran off the virus. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. Let's see. What? 
the hell? That was so Why didn't weird. You chase them? I'm sorry. You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short circuited by the blow to your head. Bruh, what did she do to Ota's mom? That was weird. Ugh. That was crazy. Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Uh, okay, here we go. Just now, the killer. Well, just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Yep. Just like last time. Now, I wonder if we're going to be able to prevent it this time. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Iva, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site. Now. I kept my foot to the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised a high-pitched scream, but I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. <sighs> that sick bastard! That's when Oda's gonna, yeah, run in. I'll save you. Ota. Now, what's interesting to note is, uh, we actually did see Oda's mom walk out the door after them, but Stay away from Tessa. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense for her to be the one in that suit because that suit's kind of tall, right? And both Oda and her are pretty short, so I don't know. Please let me make it in time. At least from what I can see. Seems that way anyway. Alright, what's gonna happen? Oh, we're there. We didn't see her die. Harbor Warehouse District, Monday, 3.17 a.m. What we got? Uh-oh. Okay, so this is when he got stabbed. You okay? Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Don't yeah, worry. Iris is alive. Backup is en route to this location. Date, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. Okay, but personally, I feel like maybe you take her off the death machine table. But maybe that's just, I don't know, maybe that's just what I would do. Police headquarters, Monday, 9.34 a.m. Wait, what? Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. Okay, so you weren't able to catch him, got it. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Right. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. Damn, let me find out that was boss, bro. Because, like, when you think about it, she was hard-pressed on blaming Ota before too 
Like even though she tried to like say like, oh, I'm just doing it to play devil's advocate for uh, HQ. Hmm. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Yeah. Okay, we ain't gonna worry about none of this other shit. Let's uh talk to boss. Okay. About uh, let's look at her. Boss is sitting on top of her desk. Okay, cool. From this angle, it looks like you should be able to see up her skirt. But you, oh my god, I thought I would want to. Yeah, sure you wouldn't. Okay, uh, about so. Let's do about so. So Sejima, he was in Iris Asomnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. Okay. Um, about Iris and Ota. They were taken to Central Hospital. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. Cool. He's stable. Nothing life-threatening. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Mm -hmm. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. Um, about OKR fishery. You should ask Iva about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okiara Fishery is owned by the Okiara we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiara Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company yeah, has been managed before. by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father and it was instead given to other persons. So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? Unknown. Um, has CSI found anything at the warehouse? It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Aiba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. Okay. Uh, I want to hear from a representative of, of Okiora Fishery. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiura family too. Oh, speaking of. Hey boss, did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Right. Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. Yeah, I said that was kind of crazy for him to just do that. Uh, have you contacted Hitomi and Mayumi? Of course. Hitomi's at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Yeah, Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. Okay, so we got some places uh, to go to. I should all right, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. All right. <clears throat> Let's figure out where we're going. Okay, so we got um, Cold Storage Warehouse to investigate the warehouse again. We got the Master Cedar Diner. Uh, I think I think it's good to just go in a row again. Going in a row seems to be really good. So let's do that. Go back to the scene of the crime, see if we can find any type of clue. Arbor Warehouse District, Monday. Two cars. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. One van and one station wagon. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh. Let's investigate. 
Oh, this forklift over here. A forklift. There's nothing special about it. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Let's talk to the policeman. A police officer. I asked him about the investigation, but there's been no progress. Police officer. What about this one? Oh. He doesn't count. Okay. Uh, let's check the this station, station wagon. This station wagon is a stolen car. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. Hmm. The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. Man, left the doors unlocked and the engine on. Tripping, tripping. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. Interesting. What? Ota got into the car and drove off. The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Correct. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What happened in those four hours? Station wagon, Ota stole. Van. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait. Uh, I'll get the car. Ota's fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. Okay. Hmm. So somehow Ota drove this car and this car here. I guess. That's what it seems like. Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. Gotcha. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. Wow, it's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and check the blood stain. That must be Oda's blood. That's where he was stabbed and went down, right. Um, we can talk to the inspector. Do you have, do you have a family? No, unfortunately, I live alone. With a job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Hey, now you're talking. You're buying, right? Sure, I'll expense it. I recorded that conversation. I will be sending it to the boss later. Oh, uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. <laughs> what else can I ask him? Uh... We see each other a lot, don't we? Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> huh. Yeah, thinking the same thing. Oh my god. What? Uh, any clues? Uh, no, nothing so far. Okay. Uh, policeman, aren't you cold? Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. That keeps me warm. Nice, right? All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing them. It's pretty clean. All right, any progress on the investigation? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Gotcha. All right, let's move on uh, to the main interest points. Let's go to the A equipment. Video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. 
it would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. Gotcha. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. Probably can't find the culprit with those. Workbench. 3 a.m. this morning. Iris was lying right here. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. Workbench again. This is the workbench Iris was laying on. I can't find any clues here. Ice cutting machine. That machine is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. Was uh was Ota wearing gloves? Oh yeah, he is always wearing gloves. I was like, it need to want to turn off the uh It's been here a while, so it wasn't moved. Okay. <clears throat> forklift B. Forklift. I don't see anything special about it. Alright, let's go to the frozen one over here. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. Okay. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. Forklift has stopped. It looks like it hasn't been moved in years. I don't know if this has anything to do with what happened this morning. Overhead crane. A hook is hanging from the ceiling crane. Shelves, box. I guess we need to... Police officer. What else is there to... Oh, are we actually looking at the cardboard box and stuff this time? There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing in it. Shelves. There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? I can't find any leads on the shelf. Box. A wooden box on the shelf. It's empty. Okay. Maybe I need to... What about inspector? Inspector's doing his duty as usual. Okay. What the fuck? There is... A uh, oil drum. Oil drum. It really does look like Reika from that cabaret club in Nakamaguro. What part of her looks like a metal tube? <laughs> An oil drum. Probably not a clue this time. Shelves with boxes. Shelves packed with cardboard boxes. I asked the cop on the scene. He said there wasn't anything special in them. There's a dark spot over there. There's a dark spot over there? Shadows on the left catch my eye. Shadows on the left. Shadow. Oh. Look. It's dark over there. Is it of concern? Yeah, but without some light, I can't see. I am perfect for times like this. Gotcha. What are we looking at? Oh. Square object. Huh. There's something there. You should go pick it up. Huh. I recognize this. An Odoroki Man chocolate. You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Mizuki? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. Okay. All right. Um, let's go to the Matsushita Diner. Okay, so we found some type of chocolate thing there. Um, some chocolate bag. So that's interesting. Master Sheeta Diner Monday. All right, let's talk to Oda's mom and see what she has to say. I feel like she might. Uh, well, she looks a lot happier than. Uh, um, uh, who might you be? The other time. Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. <laughs> My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Okay, what can you help me with? 
Uh, let's talk to her. Uh, let's look at her. It's Mayumi, Ota's mother. She has a picture frame next to her. Are you done packing? Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? My boy's fine. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Uh, okay. That's weird. About that photo. Oh, this? As Mayumi spoke, she turned the photo this toward me. This is a me. family photo from when Ota was still small. I wanted to look at it again. <sighs> I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Ota. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling and that's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? Yes, that's very nice, Mayumi. Apron and a kitchen knife. I wonder if that's the knife that she used to stab Ota. But, uh, that would be fucking wild because why would she do that? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's do about last night. Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That can't be. Right. It's not true. Ota. You left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Not both your eyes? Uh, well... Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. Uh, let's ask about the Odoroki Man chocolate. Just to be sure, I decided to ask Mayumi about the Odoroki Man chocolate I found at the warehouse. I took it out of my pocket to show her. Do you know anything about this chocolate? Odoroki man? Yes, actually. I was hooked on them at one point. My Ota loves them too. Ota. When he was younger, he used to collect all the stickers. He was the best at it. Okay. Where is your husband? Oh, who knows? Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. His name is Matsushita Takaro. He died of myocardial infarction five years ago what what is going on here probably got like amnesia or something or a uh, dementia what kind of dream it was when my son had just started elementary school i had Oda run an errand for me and he was taking so long and i was waiting my husband said it was nothing to worry about but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Ah, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? Okay. Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means 
Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. Dementia? Symptoms vary considerably. But Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's where those weird comments were coming from. Can she run a diner like that? It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki District. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming. And then, naturally... Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. I can't believe it. Is that all? Hmm. I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Mayumi stood and went to the kitchen. Hmm. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. You're right. That's so sad. All right, uh, let's go to the map. Uh, let me see what he says about her. Mayumi is in the kitchen. It looks like she's cutting vegetables or something. Okay. Uh, Sejima residence. Alright, Sejima Residence Monday. How did you get in? Hopped over the fence. <laughs> That's trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to So. Uh, let's look at him. So is feeding the koi in the pond. Koi? Koi? Do you know Iris Sagan? I don't. Who is that? I showed him the picture of Iris I had. This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. I detect no noticeable rise in So's body temperature. This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Well, true. Hmm. Where were you at 3 a.m. this morning? Here. Sleeping, of course. Why? What happened? Did you not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. All right, about your connection with the Kumakuras. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Aiba, you were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Oh, we can continue that later. Hmm. Okay, do we need to investigate some things? Let's talk to the bodyguard. Look at him, the bodyguard is standing completely still, emotionless, about So's alibi. Congressman Sejima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom, resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. Iba, are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several. But for some reason, they are all powered off. There is no image data for the past few days. Really? That's too suspicious to ignore. Hmm. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So Sejima has nothing to do with your case. It's my job to decide that, not yours. <sighs> okay, I didn't want to get rough. But if I need to, I'll feed you to the coin. I'd like to see you try. Date, he's not all talk. What? Check his body. Check his body? <laughs> what? Oh, the gun? 
This guy is a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. So you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. I know that you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> are you finished? <laughs> if you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Date, I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. I feel like I've um, done this scene before. This, sound, this is similar to uh, one that I've done. Uh, all right, let's go back to Central Hospital. All right, all right. Not really learning too much just yet. Central Hospital Monday. Let's see what Oda has to say. Oh. Are you okay? Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. Well, that's always good. All right. Um, I guess we don't really need to check any of these things. Actually, let's do that. Bathroom, I can see a toilet in there. Cupboard, cupboard. Because we never really be in here. Curtain used as a divider. Peekaboo. Pardon me? When Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Seeing that curtain made me think about it. Hmm. Curtain uses a divider. Patient monitor, equipment used for monitoring vital signs. It measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. Bed, a bed. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Bedside table, there's a bedside table. Window. A window. Okay. Oh, sink. A sink. All right, let's talk to her. Okay. Do. Oh, let's look at her. It told me it's sitting next to the bed. She looks exhausted. Do you know anything about Iris and So? So Sejima, the politician? Yes. Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. Okay. Um, about Iris. She... Iris lost her left eye. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. <sighs> but I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I... I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. That must have been very painful. Yes. About Ota. I am so thankful for Oda. No, words don't even do it justice. Ota saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. Yeah, as far as we know. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. <laughs> I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. Um, let's do about Ota again. Ota was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one to say, but... I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. He risked his own life to save someone else. His mother must have raised him well. About your alibi. Hitomi, 
What were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect Hitomi? Okay, hold on. Let me read back some of this. Okay, tell me what were you doing around 3 a.m.? I mean, I'm just doing my job, sleeping at home. Can you pick me up around 4 a.m.? I swear about all this. Can you pick me up around 4? Correct. I want to take to get from home. Don't I'll be around our house. So. You're fast. You can just make it. Oh, so he's saying, so he's trying to piece together whether or not she could have been in the polar bear suit. Gotcha. Not necessarily, but. Mm. Say goodbye. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. Okay, last one, Date Residence. Going back to my house. Trying to figure out who it could have been up in there. Don't know why. I mean, could could have been Mizuki with the chocolate snacks up in there. He says she ate them. Date Residence Monday. Hey Mizuki, could you take a break? I want to ask you something. Hmm. Oh, it ain't even letting me examine them. They like, nah. You deal with this. Okay. Let's look. Mizuki is still working her muscles. Yeah, she ain't gonna want to talk to me. <laughs> You're mad at me, aren't you? Where's the officer who dropped you off? Nothing. <laughs> About the fishery. About Ota and Iris. Apologize to Mizuki. Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? That doesn't mean you just leave her without saying anything. I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully sexist of you. This is why no one thinks you're attractive. Oh, damn, boy, she stay roses. <laughs> she be on his dude ass. I'm attractive. Uh-huh, keep telling yourself that. That's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. Damn. My girlfriend is a ninja. You know, she's just hiding in the shadows. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? <clears throat> let's do... Let's go from left to right. About Okiura uh, Fishery. <laughs> what the fuck was I about to say? Okiura Fishery is a company Grandpa made. Mm. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. Okay, uh, what kind of person was your grandpa? I never met him. He died before I was born. But daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when grandpa was in great grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. Hmm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? Yup. And then grandpa was raised by dolphins. Uh, huh? By the time he was 10, he was catching fish with his bare hands. And then Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery. Okay. Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa was a legend. All the fishermen and sailors respected him. That can't be true. But there's a part of me that's thinking, maybe. <laughs> After all, Mizuki herself seems superhuman. I believe her grandpa was an incredible man. Hmm. Okay, where's the officer who dropped you off? Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay, 
Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? That's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? I thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big boobs, too. <laughs> what the fuck is this conversation? I suppose you are what they call a tit Why man. was he so defensive about that? Okay, about Ota and Iris. I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. Ota is amazing. I'm changing my mind about that guy. Iris and Ota came out of it okay. They'll both live. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Thank God. All right, we got all we got from her, uh, so we'll say goodbye. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation, so... Wait, you're leaving me again? <laughs> <sighs> oh, shit, I had to sneeze. I'm coming with you. No. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. It's okay, I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. Girl, stay your ass home. It was one year ago. I noticed something strange when Mizuki came home from school. Oh, we getting a flashback? In the middle of this? Hey, what happened? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. And they teased me. And I got mad and I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. What? I'm going to teach you how to kick their asses. We're starting right now. Get ready. Why the shrine? The shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Sure, whatever. First, I am going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules, and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> Why is he talking like the... Date, are you playing a character or something? I'm not Date. <laughs> While we're in training, I am master. Oh my god. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and stop this episode here. When we come back, we'll continue with the little dojo lesson uh, that we're going to give Ms. Uh, Mizuki. And, uh, and yeah, thank you all for watching. Whoever's watching, I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Bye.